All right, today we got a few boxes here from Goodwill, shopgoodwill.com that we're going to open it up, see what's inside. I figured I'd just combine these all together because they're just kind of retro tech stuff. So uh, why don't we open it up and open these up and see what's inside. Let's get started. I kind of don't even remember what I what all I ordered. So, I mean, I know I ordered a bunch of stuff and some of it's already come in, but this is the last few things that have come in. Uh, we'll start with this one. This one was from Georgia, Norcross, Georgia. So inside we got paper. And we've got bubble wrap. And more paper. I don't think there's anything else in there. So looks like this taped here, so if I cut through the tape. Oh yeah, I know what this is. Can even, oh, it's tied in the knot. Not really sure why I bought this. This is kind of an impulse thing, I suppose. But that's the keyboard stand for it. And this is supposed to be a Gen 1 iPad in box. I don't know if you can see that or not. Put it in the Ziploc bag. 32 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte model. And it's supposed to come with all the stuff. Yeah, it's got the charger and the power bricks. So, yeah, I don't know. It just. I don't know if there, you can do much with them. I know there's a. Atari arcade thing that you can plug in and there's like a video game system. I bet you it's that it probably needs to be charged, but yeah, we'll plug it in later, see if it works. That's the first item. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Bubble wrap everywhere. <clears throat> That's the next one here. Oh, it's the Tiger Electronics R Zone Portable Game Console. Yeah. This is the really weird thing that came out. I don't know when, but I don't know if I'll be able to get this undone. 
but this thing here wraps around your head. This part flips down. I don't know exactly how this... I guess you just look, you view it and it projects. It projects the image onto the screen right there. You can see there's a little cartridge in there. I don't... Mortal Kombat 3. I think that's what it says. Yep. goes like that I'll have to look this up and see if I can find out anything more about it because I don't really know much about these I'm assuming they're probably battery powered probably have to put batteries Unscrew that, slide it off, and batteries will go in there, but I don't, I don't know. I don't see any other place to do batteries, so. Anyhow, yep. So that's the Tiger R-Zone. And then we got this one. This one's kind of heavy. All right. Oh, yeah. I know what this is, too. This is a uh, I'm sure there's nothing else in the box. Nope. It's a Kodak movie projector. Brownie three hundred. And this just fell out of it. That's not good. I don't know where that. I mean, I don't think it could go there. I don't know where this goes. I have to look at pictures of it. There might be one here. Jeez. Well, 
There's a light bulb for it. I have no idea why they wouldn't have left it in the socket. Well, let's see if we can get this thing to turn on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing in and see if anything happens. Um, I got the plug right here, so let's plug it in. Ooh, there is light. I don't think I'll be able to display it in any way, but let's see if we can get any kind of motion on this thing. I think maybe you can hear it. Forward. Yeah. Nice. Well, why don't and we see if it actually works. All right, we're gonna try this and see what happens. Apparently. Need to focus it a little better. Well, it's doing something. There we go. It's kind of hard to see because the lights are on. All right. Well, I'm going to call that a success. That one looks like it's working perfectly, so... And just for reference, let me go ahead and power this off here real quick. Yeah, that was kind of loud. Just for reference, the uh, iPad also worked. And the um, R-Zone, I tested it out and that worked as well too. So I'm going to sit back here and watch a movie. So that's going to be it for this one. If you wanted me to do a deep dive on any of these things... Uh, that I unboxed today. Go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.